And it sure is beautiful up here. Hey guys, just want to give you a quick reminder day, today on some annual maintenance that you should be doing with your RV. So I'll talk you through it, show you what I'm going to do, and we'll go from there. All right, so every year you should be putting some time into making sure that your RV is water safe. And so what I mean by that is making sure that like all these seals around your baggage doors, around your front cap, uh, any other penetrations into your RV, make sure that they're in good shape. And I can tell that the difference between last fall and right now, there are some significant changes. So I need to do some work. What you're looking for is any sort of cracking like you see right here or any separation like you see right here hopefully we can get that in there um there so right through here right through here you see that the sealant is not uh, up against the frame of the, this baggage door anymore. So I'll need to go and fill that back in. So what I'm doing first is just using some uh, rubbing alcohol to make sure that I get a nice clean surface. I believe that this is Dicor that's around here. And so I am going to be using to seal it up. Same thing. Uh, there's a couple of kinds of this Dicor. This is the non-leveling non-sag, so it should stick, you know, even on these vertical sections here without a problem. They have a self-leveling one that's used up on the roof. I don't have any of that right now, but bottle looks a lot the same, except it says self-leveling instead. So I've used that stuff before and it does level out pretty well. So you don't want to use that if you're trying to do anything vertical like this, because it's just going to run right out and make a mess of your RV. So I'm going to continue with my cleaning. It's kind of hard to uh, film and clean at the same time, but basically just using some paper towels, rubbing alcohol, and getting all this dirt and grime out of these grooves so that I can put some more of this on there. Let's see if I can do this here. So I found out a little fun fact. I got a little extra of the die core onto this belt band thing and as i mentioned i'm using rubbing alcohol let's see if we can get you situated here so i'm going to spray right there onto a paper towel look at how easy that comes off so if you get a little extra where you don't want to, there is a potential solution. Pretty cool. I had no idea. Just figured I'd give it a try. So I can really clean up the mess that I made. Because I, I always kind of sloppy up here. But now granted, I did just complete putting the die core on this section. So it's probably working out a little easier than if you let it cure completely. Uh, skin's over after about five minutes and it's waterproof after about four hours. So during the uh, initial application period, you could probably clean up any mess that you have, but you probably want to do it before it gets to that waterproof stage. The bottle says nothing about cleanup, so hopefully this tip helps you out. It's not too, uh, not too hard of a problem and it's gonna save you money because if you get water damage inside, like if, if this front cap were to like get a ton of water in it, that's gonna be a huge repair. You're gonna be looking at mold and all sorts of bad stuff inside your RV and you don't wanna have to deal with that. Um, one other little tip, you know, getting up onto this, uh, this banding, I need to use a ladder and to protect the side of the RV and especially the banding, I've used some pool noodles, which I normally put on the edge of the uh, bedroom slide out. So I've used some pool noodle segments 
to protect the side of the RV, protect the banding, and keep the ladder from damaging anything. And this is exactly the kind of job why it's really important to have a ladder that you can put up anywhere around the RV and not rely on just the ladder that's hanging on the back. You know, the, la the ladder on the back is great for getting up top, but to do anything along the sides, you know, getting up, checking out your windows, checking out your seals, that kind of stuff all the way around the RV. I think it's really important to have something like this. I like this one because it extends and it's easy to stow. It's pretty light. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 20 pounds. It, it's not heavy at all. And since it collapses down so small, I can fit it up under the storage door up front. So works out for us. I'll put a link to the, this or something like this in the description down below. It... All right, so I missed a spot yesterday when I was cleaning up some of my mass. I didn't pay too close attention on this uh, baggage door frame. So I'm gonna see, we're about 24 hours after getting this stuff down and I can kind of rub some of that stuff off, but it's not uh, coming off very easily. So we're gonna try the spray trick. A couple of squirts there. We'll see if this comes off relatively easily. Wow, awesome. That does not take a whole lot of effort, which is, in my opinion, an awesome thing. So, definitely a thing to know if you're going to be doing a project like this. You know, keep some rubbing alcohol on hand and should be able to clean up any of these, any of these messes that you might've made. But otherwise, from the rest of the project perspective, you know, the, the die core, I think they do have, um, I think they do have some clear and some various colors available. However, the store that I was at didn't have anything but white. So, you know, it looks all right. I'm not, I'm not gonna complain about the way the color is on here. I think it looks just fine. And, you know, as I'm, Looking at this, I think there's probably still some opportunity to do a little bit of cleanup on it and maybe a couple of touch-up sections like right here. I uh, can't tell whether that's just thin and overlaying whatever was there before. Um, so I, I may touch that up a little bit, but I feel like the overall process of doing this work is something that is gonna save us in the long run, so I highly recommend taking a look at your seals at least once a year, if not multiple times a year. You know, I do check them out in the spring and the fall for sure. And just kind of check them out every once in a while, you know, while we're on the road, make sure that we're not damaging the interior of our RV. I'm gonna jump up on the roof real quick, I think, and just double check the seals up there. So we'll take you with us. All right, so up here, you see a couple of iterations of how I tried to seal or get our antenna cable for our internet up here. And first I tried some Elastabond or Elasta, yeah, I think it's Elastabond. That worked out okay, but it did uh, come off after uh, a few months on the road. So then I mounted some zip ties with some screw down mount plates or whatever you can see I've got it zip tied and I've covered it with the Dicor uh, self-leveling stuff so these penetrations are well sealed from the elements and this cord is not going anywhere so any place that you have any sort of sealant you know on your vents on your um, well any of the plumbing vents or your roof vents you just kind of want to make sure that all of that is in good shape and check out, make sure that your 
um, whatever you've got on your roof. Our, ours is a PV, PVC, um, but whether it's rubber, TPO, whatever, you wanna make sure that there's no cuts or scrapes or holes um, that would cause or allow water to get into the substrate. So it's still a little bit damp up here and I'm not super comfortable getting all the way on here right now, but essentially you're just looking for the same stuff that we saw down below around the baggage doors. If there's any cracking, peeling, lifting, you know, anything that looks like it should be sealed that's not, just check it out and make sure that you're protecting your investment. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, our awning isn't quite straight. Got a story to tell about that. So we'll be, um, we'll be telling you how we solve that problem later on this summer. You know, other places that you may not think to look for if it's sealed is the edges of your slides. So pretty much anywhere there's any sort of um, joint or connection, all those places you wanna look, make sure that it's all safe and sound. I'm looking right here. I may, may wanna do something about that. Uh, looks like this ceiling tape is kind of coming coming lifted a little bit. So I may wanna do something about that because definitely don't want water getting in underneath that and working its way down into the wall at all. But yeah, those are, those are all the things that you wanna try to take a look at and make sure, like I, I can't stress it enough. You wanna make sure that things are sealed properly. Um, and water penetration is one of the number one problems with RVs. So anything that you can do to, to prevent that from happening is gonna make sure that uh, everything's safe and sound. Well guys, that's all for this episode of the Alcohol Free RV. I hope some of these tips are helpful to you and this reminder is helpful to you. I wanna be able to use our RV as long as possible and I want the same for you. So let me know if you thought about any of these things, how frequently do you do this kind of maintenance on your RV and do you do it yourself or take it into a shop? Let us know in the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this and we will see you next time.